welcome back. If you are new and you're just joining my channel for the first time, my name is Kaylee. So this today is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be one of those long full body flows or a strength workout, but it's going to be just like last week, our back to basics video. Okay, so I'm doing multiple parts of these back to basics. So if you are new to working out, it can kind of guide you through the breath, the movements that we do in a lot of my classes, and really how to get into the right position and use proper form while you're working out. Okay, so last week we focused on the squat, hinge, glute bridge, lunges, all that good stuff. Today we're gonna to be doing a couple more movements. So if you're not new and you've done workouts for years and years and years, still good to come back to the basics, make sure your form's looking okay, have someone take a video of you, look at my video, look at your form, make sure everything is good to go, all right? So remember to subscribe to my channel. I do normally post a new workout every week. Um, this week I will be posting some live workouts as well. So full body workouts for you and there's plenty more up there already. So everything's categorized for you. So check those out. Subscribe, make sure you like this video, leave a comment, let me know how it goes. If it was helpful and I'll continue to build up this back to basic series for you guys. All right, let's get started. All you need is a mat or something just to work on. No props, just your own body weight and we're gonna get started. We normally set up plank here. We stretch out here in cat cow, okay? So hands come under the shoulders, and you wanna make sure the hands are directly under those shoulders, and the knees are directly in line with your hip. Okay, so that's your starting position. You're gonna pull the belly in. Now, if you do yoga, then you're used to that cat cow, right? So when you think about a cat cow, when you go into the cow, you arch the back, you lift the head, and you let the belly and the abs just go a little bit looser here, relaxed, and then as you scoop it around, you pull the belly button up towards the spine, right? So then when you come back to the middle, this is just that neutral tabletop position. So you're not arching, you're not rounding, you're pressing the fingertips into the floor, spread them nice and wide, and you wanna turn this muscle on right here, okay? So you don't wanna sink into it and let the shoulders kinda of come up towards the ears or the shoulder blades squeeze together, right? We're not protracting, retracting, just in neutral. So press the hands down, Turn the lats on, really engage the muscles by knitting the rib cage together and pulling the belly in and up. Okay, so that's your basic tabletop position that we normally do before we move into anything crazier. So right there, when you feel stable, then maybe what you do is send one leg straight out, right? And we set this up a lot for booty work. So again, once you get here, try not to arch the back. You wanna reset, pull that belly in, find the balance, center the weight, keep the hip and the knee in line, and keep those hip bones square to the floor. And then maybe you add the opposite arm out, and you find the balance there, okay? So it's all about really finding that core connection in your tabletop position, right? So you wanna continue with the breath here. And we talked about this in the last video, so when you're here, and you're just finding movement in this tabletop, you're gonna inhale, let the belly just relax, and then exhale, pull the belly in, knit the rib cage together. Right? So when you go into a movement like this, your bird dog, you want to make sure the belly's pulling in. So movement happens on that exhale, right? So say you're here, you go inhale, exhale, pull the belly in and reach out nice and long. Squeezing the glute, relaxing the shoulder away from the ear. And again, finding stability through that leg that stays down, okay? So that's your tabletop position. We use that a lot. Shoulders down, belly pulling in. Turning those lats on by really pressing the fingertips into the floor and then keeping those knees and hips in line, okay? All right, so from there, we're gonna come into our plank position. Okay, so your hands stay under your shoulders. Again, you're pressing into the mat and into the floor. And you can keep a soft, soft bend in the elbows so you're not hyperextending or locking out, okay? So from here, all you're gonna do is step one foot back, and step the other foot back. And then that is your plank position. So your hands did not move. The upper body is pretty much the same. You're pressing the fingertips. You wanna spread those fingertips nice and wide. Make sure the whole hand is pressing into the mat. And then the neck is nice and long. So same thing as in your tabletop. You're not gonna be looking back. 
You're not going to be looking up, right? You're going to keep the neck long. It's an extension of that spine reaching through the crown of the head. And then what I want you to do is pull the belly in by giving me a slight top of the tailbone. So it doesn't need to be this huge, huge top, but to avoid the arch from happening and dropping here, you want to keep the hips nice and level, a little top of the tail, squeeze the butt cheeks, and then press back through the heels. And again, you're turning on all the muscles by really pressing into the floor, engaging those lat muscles on the side underneath your armpits. Breathing, inhale, and then exhale, pull the belly in deeper. Good, now as you're pressing back through the heels a little bit to find more length from the crown all the way through the feet, I want you to turn the quads on. So you're gonna pull the quad muscle away from the kneecap, so really lengthen through the leg. Okay, so that's your plank position. And what we see a lot is that arch happening. And the arch is happening when the belly's not pulling in. So again, you want to use that breath. Inhale, exhale, everything comes in and up. Ribs come together. Okay, and as you continue to hold that plank, keep moving through the breath to continue to pull the belly in. Okay, so again, you don't want to be in this rounded position here, right? Sometimes we'll go into movements where we round and arch, but just your standard plank. You want to be one nice long line, pulling the belly in, shoulders away from the ears, breathing, pressing back through the heels, and then when you're ready for a down dog, you can pike the hips up, and the hips come all the way up to the ceiling, and you really just open through the chest here. So you want to press the chest back towards your feet, and let the shoulders and chest open, feel that stretch through your back, let the head go. Good, and that's normally a transition we take. So, not really going too much into the down dog, but that plank is so important because that's the setup for a full push-up too, okay? So, we're gonna bring it down now to a push-up modification. So your hands, lots of positions for the hands when you wanna go for push-ups. There's lots of different variations, okay? So just to keep it with what we're doing with the hands being under the shoulders, let's keep it there for right now. So the hands are under the shoulders, and then the knees are going to be back a little bit. You're going to bring your heels all the way to your glutes. Now, you're not going to be in this position sticking your butt up, right? You're not in a tabletop, but you're shifting the weight forward so that you're on a nice angle all the way from your head to your knees. Okay, so if there was a pole going from your head to your knees on that angle, right? A metal pole. It does not bend. It does not break. So your body needs to move together, the whole thing. So even if you're just doing this modified push-up, it's the same thing, it's the same thought process there, okay? So you're pulling the belly in, again, a little tuck of the tail, keeping the heels towards the glutes here, and then you're gonna lower down on your inhale. Your inhale, exhale, you press up. Good, and because our hands are under our shoulders, we're gonna keep the elbows nice and close to the body, so this is more of a tricep push-up. Okay, so you're gonna inhale down, exhale, press back up. And when you press up, you don't want to lock the elbows out, okay? So you just try to remember to keep a little soft bend, heels to glutes, pull the belly in on that nice angle, hands under shoulders, neck long, inhale, exhale, press. Okay, so that's your modified push-up. In class, you can stay there. So we don't always have to be in this full push-up position. Lots of times it's better to be in that modified position so you can get the form and you can get that angle having that little tuck of the tail, but keeping that spine nice and lengthened. And then once you build up on that, when you feel comfortable, you press all the way up onto the toes. So again, then you're in that plank position. Same thing here, really squeezing the glutes, pressing back through the heels, inhale down. Exhale, press back up. So now that pole, that metal pole is going from the, the top of your head all the way through the bottoms of your feet. So it does not bend, it does not break. Okay, so the hand position again, right here, the elbows are staying nice and close, so you're going for more of the tricep. If you want to bring it into more of a chest push-up, hands come out wider, you can angle the fingertips in a little bit, and then the elbows go out to the side. Okay, so one like that, you're here, hands a little bit wider, elbows are going to go out to the side, you inhale down, you exhale, press. Okay, so same positioning for everything else, if you're on your knees, if you're on your toes, only difference is the hand position and the elbows. Instead of going straight back, go out to the side. Okay, so using that breath, guys, inhale down, exhale, depress up. 
So you want to exhale when it gets harder, okay? So that's the push-up, all right? So now we're going to go into a thrust. So I want you to start with your booty on your heels. And you can have the knees a little bit further apart. And you can have the toes touching behind you, okay? So in our thrust, we're going to keep the shoulders down and back. A lot of times we'll add arm work, right? But for now, just keep the arms down by your sides. You're going to lift the hips, the booty, off the heels. And as you come up, I want you to give me a little glute squeeze. Then you tap it back down. And as you're tapping down, similar to your glute bridge, the booty, the glutes release. And then you lift up and squeeze. Okay, so from the side. So here, I have my toes together, my feet together, my knees are out. My belly's pulling in, my shoulders are relaxed. You tap down, tap glutes to heels, lift up, little squeeze at the top. Tap down, and squeeze, okay? So you don't want to put all of this weight in the quads, so you want to make sure you're engaging the glutes as you come up and squeeze. Now, the core here and the breath, as you go down, inhale down, big breath, everything releases, exhale, lift. And as you exhale again, you knit the ribs together, you pull them in, and you pull the belly in and up. Okay, so here we go. So it's down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, and again, using the glutes here. Now sometimes in class, I'll take you from here, and then I'll have you shift back, right? So again, that pull, not bending, not rounding, not arching, just shifting the weight back. So you get a little bit more in the quads there and the abs, but I also want you to continue to squeeze those glutes, okay? And the shoulders are staying relaxed. So unless we're doing arm work, you're relaxing the upper body completely here. The abs are engaged, but the shoulders are relaxed, okay? So that is just a little hip thrust, very similar to our glute bridge, which we did in the last video, so check that out if you didn't see that one, okay? All right, now we're gonna move into our Superman. So we're doing a lot of stuff on the ground today, all right? So you're gonna come to your belly, and so important for the Superman or your back extension is really thinking about length, okay? So it's not about how high can I lift my arms and legs off the ground and come into this V position, it's how much can I get myself to be lengthened and reaching out in opposite directions, so that opposition, right? So you're coming down on the belly, one hand can be on top of the other. Elbows can go out to the side. So this is often a starting position. And then there's lots of variations with the legs. But for today, we're going to keep them nice and wide. So I want you to activate the lower body. Okay, so before you even lift, you want to engage the muscles so they're ready. So you're going to point the toes. You're going to turn the quad on the top of your leg. Pull the quad away from the kneecap. Squeeze your glutes. So now, without even trying to lift, my legs are just lifting off the floor, right? So the more you lengthen, the more they're going to lift on their own, okay? So you can rest your forehead down. The forehead just stays on the hands. And now the legs are active. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And what I want you to do is focus on the breath here, okay? So your belly is touching the mat right now. And it's just kind of pressing into the mat. Now as you inhale, that's going to expand. You're going to press more into the mat. And then as you exhale, you feel a little space, okay? So it doesn't have to be an actual space underneath your belly as you exhale, but you're gonna feel as you pull the belly in and up, you create some space between your belly and the mat, okay? So that's what you wanna focus on here. The head stays down for now, the legs are lengthening. You're gonna lift the upper body, so the head, neck, shoulders, the chest off the mat, and the lower body, you're just gonna lift the legs another inch or two, okay? And you're gonna use that breath. So you're actually gonna take a nice big inhale at the bottom. Exhale, pull the belly in. And then inhale to lift. Inhale to lift, lift and lengthen. Good, so notice how I'm not crunching up here. It's just a small lift, forehead stays down, shoulders stay relaxed, and I'm reaching longer from the crown of my head through my toes. Pulling the belly away, and then you exhale down, down, down. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, pull the belly in, lower down, 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 okay? So from there, you can maybe send those arms overhead, but the forehead stays towards the mat in this, okay? So you can start with it all the way down. If you don't want to touch your mat, you can have it a little lifted, but the goal is to keep that neck long and the crown of the head reaching out. So now the fingertips can reach long. The toes and the legs are on. 
right? So toes are pointed, shoulders are plugged down and back. And now from here, you inhale, lift, lengthen, reach, exhale, belly in, lower down. Inhale, lift, squeeze the glutes, energy through those toes, those fingertips, and then lower down. Okay? And then you can take those hands into your shoulders and always press it back into a child's pose. Okay, so that position, that Superman position, I know a lot of times we're taught that we want to really lift super high like Superman, right? Like we're flying. But the goal of that is to not really crunch into that lower back. That's going to start to cause pain. We want to build the muscles of the back, but we want to think about lengthening as we lift instead of crunching as we lift. Okay, so try to focus on that. And the more that you reach the fingertips and the toes, reaching in opposition, the more that you're gonna feel that slight lift as you lengthen. Okay, so that is it for today. Just a couple more movements for you to practice your form. You really wanna make sure you're feeling it in the right muscles, guys. So in that tabletop, you know, we're starting off there, pressing the hands again. Reminder, feeling it in the back, pulling the belly in. When you go more into that plank position, feeling it in the back, the shoulders, pulling the belly in, the legs, the glutes, in that thrust, feeling it in the glutes, the quads, the abs, right? In that Superman, the back, the shoulders, the arms, the legs, right? So these are total body movements. We're not just isolating one muscle, but you wanna make sure you're feeling those movements in the right spots, okay? So again, if you're feeling lower back pain when you're doing a Superman, something might be a little funky. All right, so go through this video. You don't have to do it with me. You can just watch and then do it after. Or maybe you do it, you stop, you take some notes, and then you go try one of my other workouts, okay? So I'll put a couple of workouts in the description if you want to try a full body flow or a booty and abs workout, and you can apply all of these fundamentals into those workouts, okay? Remember to use the breath, breathe, relax, control, focus. Okay? Alright, let's just take a nice big inhale to finish today. All together, inhale, arms up. And then exhale, all the way out. Alright guys, thank you again for joining us back to basics. This is part two. We have a couple more parts to come. So continue to watch these and work on your form. Any questions, you guys can leave comments in the comment of this video. You can DM me on Instagram. It's Kaylee underscore Gaini. So send those messages, those questions. Again, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. New workouts every single week. There will be live workouts posted. Um, you can do them live or do them later. Okay? Thank you guys. Have an awesome week. I'll see you next time.